so um, with the grocery um, delivery service that we get um, they deliver in the insulated bags and um, so what I figured out that I can do is every week I get like I don't know four almond milks a dozen eggs and orange juice for my husband and that's kind of like the regular standing order <clears throat> and so they deliver it in a bag and with a coolie and so I kind of hold on to those for a while and we get a deposit um, if we turn the bag back in and also the cooling um, blanket that comes with it it's like three three fifty or four dollars you know every time and so, um, so what I do is I just hang on to them and then after about a month or so a month and a half or something like that I actually turn them all in at one time and then I get a bunch of free groceries here's my breakfast this morning PB fit oatmeal with um, apples and my big green smoothie here Three points with spinach so you're gonna see my food looked a little bit different this week and I'm not quite sure how it's going to react with my body um, I'm kind of taking notes um, along the way but I thought what I would do is I was kind of interested in the simply filling technique um, I've heard a lot about it I thought I would look into it and I didn't want to tell you about it because I wanted to kind of like play around with it first I didn't want to be you know telling you oh I want to do simply filling and then end up not liking it and then a couple days ditch it you know oh, no, now, now I'm not doing it now I'm doing this and and so I thought you know what I'm just gonna kind of play around with it for a little bit <coughs> excuse me but from what I see there's a lot of good uh, good points to it. Um, it certainly helps you to increase, concentrate on increasing your nutrient uh, density, you know what I mean, profile of your food and bringing up um, the high nutrient foods and um, because those are all going to be zero. Um, the thing about that I was worried about it though was upping my carbs and upping the grains and things like that or beans or whatever and I thought well maybe I can do this with just like one and a half to two servings of grains and beans per day and then you know what I mean and then the rest with veggies and things like that veggies and fruits what I'm finding is on the busy days when um, I'm not totally prepared for all day I leave myself open to having to use some of the smart points because when you're on simply filling what I'm finding is you do also have smart points that you can use if you go over you know because simply filling things you don't have to count which is awesome which is one of the reasons why I liked um, I wanted to kind of play around with it for a bit there's so many things on there that um, you know when I type them in to see that big fat green zero saying that zero points you don't have to count this that's like yeah that's so cool um but like uh well i'll i'll tell you a little bit more as we go on with the uh the week but you'll you'll see what i'm doing i'm using my rice cooker here to put in some grains and um these are the things that are going to go in there i've got a half a cup of wild rice which is actually a grass believe it or not um i've got a cup of buckwheat which is actually not wheat, it's actually related to the rhubarb plant. It's a seed from the rhubarb, um, from something like the rhubarb plant. Okay, and then I've got a quarter cup of sprouted mung beans, I'm sorry, a half a cup, and then a half a, oh, a whole cup of Italian pearl farro. So I've got all of these grains in here, uh, put them all in my Weight Watchers app and they are coming up as zero points because these are all simply filling. Isn't that awesome? Right, putting some broccoli on to cook because it is zero points on simply all right, filling. This is my lunch. It is a nourishing bowl of the beans and the wild rice and all that stuff. And I've got um, some shavings of carrot. I've got some Mexican flavored stewed tomatoes, and then I've got some broccoli that's been steamed. Some purple onions, and I also have um, some soy sauce in here. So that breakfast sandwich I had that night, um, it was really surprising to me that it was actually all zero points because I used the Sara Lee um, multi-green bread, and that was coming up as zero points. And then I used um, the an egg white 
um, mix and that was coming up as zero points two pieces of Canadian bacon uh, again that was coming up as zero points because it was only two pieces um, and then um, I used just a smidgen of the fat-free cheese and that was coming up at zero points so that was a zero point sandwich and that's what I had for dinner and that was really kind of nice not to have to worry about points on that so I thought that was my really breakfast neat. I have one cup of this shredded wheat and I have berries half of a banana one apple a teaspoon of flaxseed um, and then I have warmed up a cup of cashew milk unsweetened and so I, I like it warm over the cereal because cereal, this one's a little hard to eat. <laughs> so that might make it a little easier. Okay, so when I have that dessert, um, it's actually a butterscotch sugar-free um, jello pudding and I actually I make it with cashew milk and I always put like a couple of tablespoons of PB fit in the entire package so when you have a portion of that it's really like a zero point uh, portion because you're only gonna get like a quarter um, of that PB fit in each serving so um, anyway and then on top of that so I only use like a quarter of a cup of the mix once it's all done at the bottom of the dish and then I put in an eighth of a, a cup of low-fat cottage cheese because I found when I add the cottage cheese to this dessert it really does it keeps you um, pretty satiated and then on top of that I use one tablespoon of the fat-free Cool Whip which is zero points and then um, a teaspoon of the um, mini chips mini chocolate chips and um, and that is really that would be like one point but I usually don't count it and I probably should but I don't um, but anyway so it's super low in points but it's um, sweet and it's um, very satisfying I am putting together a little lunch for later and I have this salad um, lots of veggies in here and then two tablespoons of hummus and one egg and I'm gonna have a pear here and I've got two tablespoons of this Oat House Farms ranch. Okay, so what you're gonna see me doing um, right now is that it's a little different from in summer sizing when I was doing summer sizing here, which I'm, I think I'm officially maybe taking a little break from that. Um, so if you're with me on summer sizing, you know, I hope you don't go away because I'll probably go back to it at some point, but you're gonna see me using fruit with the meal sometimes and it's just you know I just need to I just want more bulk and more fiber and then um, I know it's optimal to have fruit on an empty stomach and sometimes I'll do that um, so sometimes you're gonna see meals that are very summer sized um, they'll probably be more like the carbo veggie meals that are summer sized but sometimes I'm gonna end up having fruit with them so um, that's the only difference and so if you're here with summer sizing um, and you see me do that just just ignore that and you don't have to do that but uh, but I'm doing it for now um, so there's you know that's why I had the pear and I actually ended up having the pear like uh, about an hour later after I had my, my lunch. breakfast that I'm having this morning I'm having a half a cup of these oats here and I ended up buying like a 10 pound box of oats from Costco it's gonna take me forever to get through that and then I've got a quarter of an apple, a half a banana, and just a handful of berries, and just a smidgen of the cashew milk in here, cinnamon, and then um, I've got a egg white omelet with one egg, and a third cup of egg whites, and some salsa, and this is my breakfast. Okay, I made up this dessert here for kind of a snack after lunch sometime and put it in this. It's just a um, <clears throat> butterscotch with some of the PB2 and just like an eighth of a cup of low-fat cottage cheese and then a tablespoon of the fat-free whipped cream. This is my snack here I'm gonna have between lunch and dinner and we're gonna go to the gym. So it is um, one of the sandwich thins and I forget what the brand is. I wanna say it's over wheat. And under simply filling, it's coming up as zero. 
And then I've got two tablespoons of PB Fit, a teaspoon of sugar-free jam, and a quarter of an apple and little slices. And that's my sandwich. All right, so on the way home from the gym tonight, we stopped at Chipotle, and <clears throat> I did not know, I know I did okay with the salad, although um, one thing, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having a problem with is, now the chicken on my Simply Filling list, it says that lean chicken is okay, um, and that I guess I don't have to count it, right? But, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm really not getting some of this. I'm really trying to figure out the Simply Filling thing. But um, now, Chipotle's chicken serving is 180 calories. Um, I'm assuming it's lean and a serving now. But when I put it into my tracker, it said that it was coming up as four points, which I had to deduct from my week of smart points. Okay, so, um, so I didn't understand that, but also I had to dip in for half of the dressing, and um, and then the chips, yeah, are like 17 <laughs> points for a serving of chips, and my husband and I split a serving, so I ended up counting like eight points, which now I wouldn't do again because honestly for eight points I could have had something like really good you know but anyway um, they were okay so I learned my lesson on that um, but I'm thinking okay um, I don't know I'm also hearing you know I really like a lot about Simply Filling and I had been thinking about trying this for a while um, I don't know I might just try it up to Thanksgiving and see how it works um, I might go past that if I start if I start putting on weight because of the increased beans and grains I'm gonna jump ship pretty darn quick <laughs> because I don't need that but um, uh, one of the things that I heard from somebody else who goes to the meetings is that um, come December 3rd when there are new changes that take place with Weight Watchers, Simply Filling was probably going to be a program that they no longer offer. And of course I could still do it if I still like it, but the thing is is that I probably won't have it online to do, so I probably won't have it on the app. And that's, you know, really important for me. So if anybody knows anything about that, uh, let me know. And if anybody has had experience with Simply Filling and you have pros and cons, I'd like to know what those are because I'm still kind of like, even though I'm doing Simply Filling right now, I'm really doing my best to try to figure it out. Um, <clears throat> I, I like, one of the things that I like about it is that you could really, if you want to move into more of a nutritarian type diet, you really want to bring up your the nutrient value of what you take in, the greens, the beans, the you know the high nutrient density foods. It fits right in with this because you don't have to count it; it's all zero points. That's awesome. Um, but you know you definitely have some smart points that if you roll over and you have like something normal you can still you know take points off of that I still have 86 points um, fit points for the week so I'm not really worried about that um, but if I don't have to use those fit points I'd rather not use them um, so <clears throat> I really want to see how this is going to affect my body but anyway I think it's all a moot point if they're gonna get rid of the program anyway but um, Anyway, so let me know if you have any comments about it, things that you liked about it, things that you, you know, if you know about the chicken at Chipotle, let me know if I'm supposed to count that or not. Why is it that some things come up as counting the points, but yet they're on the, um, you know, no count list for simply filling. So I'd like to know that. But anyway, I'm going to let you go right now. I love you so much. And I have been working out in the morning as well. I get up in the morning and I do my cardio and I do my weights. And then throughout the day, I try to fit in maybe a couple extra times to do uh, some other small little workouts and things like that. So anyway, I'm back on it. Um, and I want to see a real difference um, soon. So uh, get ready for the holidays. Okay, so I will let you go right now. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.